Hey there, it's Gwen Stacy, and welcome to another episode of Gwen Stacy Plays Intricate Effect. Today, I'm going to work on my greenhouse. I decided that since I live in a snowy biome, it makes sense to have my farms in a greenhouse because not only does it keep the snow from falling on my farms, but I think it would also just kind of look cool. So this is the design that I came up with. Um, I, to come up with the design, I just looked up images of greenhouses and I, on a single player creative map, I just played around with different blocks to see what I could make look good. And so this is what I came up with. And my plan is to have a trap door and then have, um, some semi-automatic farms underneath when I go down. And I'm still working these out, like, somehow, I think it's not lit right, because this patch isn't growing. And so this will be a layer farm once I, I get it working the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to, I built this one already, and I'm going to build another one exactly like it on this side. So it's going to sort of have an upper facade and then underneath it'll be actually actual functional farms. So I'm going to get started. And I've um, stained this glass white because it just seemed to, it looked better to me because real greenhouses, they're not, like the glass isn't super clear. It's kind of like a little, you know, glass gets dirty and it's not like they go out there and clean all of the greenhouse all the time. I almost thought about having green stained glass. Like that greenhouse has been, had been around for quite some time, but I just kind of liked the white better. Whoa. So I was excited once I, I came up with this design. I kind of... I was just playing around with it, but I had no idea I was going to like it so much. And at first, my idea was that I would have, like, in the upper portion, I'd have, like, a wheat farm in one, and then a carrot farm in another, or, like, and I still might do that with some of these other ones, but I was playing around with the redstone and the wheat farm, and it was just really hard to get it so that it was the functionality that I wanted and the redstone wasn't showing and then I finally just decided to take it underground and um, I made a tunnel that goes from my basement and then I can come up from the bottom into the greenhouse so if it's nighttime or it's snowing or Whatever, I never actually have to come out into the open if I don't want to. So that's kind of nice. So this first layer, I'm actually building kind of slow. I guess I can't really talk and build. Um, it's going to be three high. Oh, I forgot one thing. I thought I had all the materials that I need, but I'm missing... I put a um, an iron fence to look sort of like a grate, and I'm missing that. I don't have those with me. So I'm going to have to get down from here and pillar my way back up. So I, um, I have all these flower pots on the inside, and I need to go collecting flowers to fill them up, because right now... I hardly have any. I was sort of surprised. But then, when I really thought about it, I live in a snowy biome. There's not, there's only like two kinds of flowers here. I've collected some of the ones, the, the larger ones that you can duplicate using bone meal. It's, so it's just the little ones that I need to go explore a little and find some more. Okay, so the next la layer, I'm going to go one in and then it's going to be two higher. But this is going to go all the way across to make my roof. So that it doesn't snow on my farms. So, 
I was thinking it'd be cool to have a bunch of these. But after building two, I don't know how many I want to build. <laughs> and it's not really necessary because I could have like tons of farms underneath each one. But I thought it might be cool to have some of them have the farms on top, like maybe a cactus farm or sugar cane. Something like that. Okay, so I'm two up on this side. I'll go on this side and do. The only thing about building with glass is that you need silk touch if you make a mistake or you lose your glass. Which I don't think I have my silk touch pick on me. I'll probably speed up some of this because I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Okay, one in and two up. And then the next one is just going to be one higher. Oh no, I fell down. I have my trusty dirt. Well, since I already fell down, I'm going to go get the iron so that I have those. Okay, so the iron, I had it three up from the center. So I'm going to go up here. So one, two, three. And then I had an iron bar. I guess that's what they're called, iron bars. So I'm going to go and put the other one on the other side. I kind of thought it would be cool to have a greenhouse that had trees in it. But when I was playing around with the design, the trees are would have to be or the greenhouse would be have to be really really tall in order to get some of these trees to even grow. Did I do that right? Let's hope. Okay. So then that this one is going to go up one level and just go across. Okay, now the next level is just one over and one up. Ah, I'm almost falling off. Okay, and this level, I'm going to do the other side first. There we go. And then the next level is three wide. And it looks like I'm not going to have enough glass. I guess I didn't count very good. Yikes, I have to get down again. Alright, I'll be back with more glass. Alright. Back to the top, and now it's nighttime. Let's see if I get shot down from here. No. Let's see how much I need. Three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three. Plus, so nine times three. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Once again. I guess I didn't count very good. A lot, when I built the other one, it all worked out perfectly. Oh, and I can't d dye it unless I have more. Oh, there we go. 
Need to go get more glass. Oh, I was cooking it. That's why. I just left it in the oven and I kind of forgot that I didn't actually pick it up. All right, dogs, you're coming with me. Oh, I didn't mean to feed you because, you know, that's confusing. I don't want you to mate right now. Okay. Back to the top. Almost done with the top portion. Oh no, I didn't do these ones. Ta-da! Finally! Done with the outside. Now I have to decide what I want on the inside. If I want to do it the same as that one where it just has the outer facade. Oh, I can't even say bye. I'm always too slow. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and I tried to type faster so I misspelled it. So, do I want to do it the same as this one where it just kind of looks like a cool little greenhouse on the, on the inside and then underneath, underground, is where the functioning farms are? Or do I try and make some sort of farm in here look cool? I think I would have to play around with it and just see how it works out. So, do I have everything on me? No, I'm missing stuff. I'm gonna get the lighting put in here because I came up with um, lights that function. They turn on at night with these daylight sensors. And I wanted it to be, I wanted them to be as small as possible and everything that I was trying was just like really large. So this is the best I could come up with and I, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to go get fence posts because that's what I'm missing. And then I'm going to install my lighting. Oh, okay, this vine's going to have to go. That was a bad idea because I can't get out. <laughs> oh, where did I position them on here? One, two, three, and then the light. Okay. Oh, spider. My dogs are going to take care of that. I heard one of my dogs get hurt. Which one of you got hurt? You can tell by how low their tail is. If their tail is... This guy's tail is straight and that guy is slightly tipped up. So he's the one that got hurt. Just in case you didn't know how to tell which of your dogs got hurt. Okay, so one, two, three... And then right here, and I'm too low. And then I need dirt to be a placeholder. And then my lamp. And then I need one regular plank. I don't know why I decided to use jungle wood. For some reason, I liked it this time. And then head upside down stairs here. I probably need more dirt. And then upside down stairs here. Oh, I do need more fences. I just remembered. Great. I'm going to go fetch more fences. Spider, you want to play? You want to play? I'll let my dogs take care of you. Okay. So that's that one. Now I want one from the other side as well. So I'm going to do it the same. Three over. 
One, two, three. And then I need dirt and my lamp. And yeah, I need the regular block here. And the reason why I need the regular block is because I'm going to have a redstone torch on the back of it. And you cannot put redstone on the back of stairs. Oh, great. <laughs> that was bad. I gotta go up and get my... Let's see, where is my axe? Alright. Right here. So I'm gonna take this dirt out. I can't get the dirt, but I'm gonna let that go. Because you know what? In order to get that dirt, I'm going to have to break my lamp. So, I put fences in between. Okay, so, to wire this, it is pretty simple. It's just a torch on the inside, and then my daylight sensor here, and then one piece of redstone. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Oh, and I got my dirt. Alright, so on this side, I gotta get up here. Let's take it out. Put the torch there. One piece of redstone. How did my dog get up here? And then the daylight sensor. So these... Oh, it's getting to be daytime. So they actually turned off now. So yeah, I thought that was... I just wanted to somehow make lights that turn off during the day. Because it's a greenhouse and there's supposed to be sunlight coming through here. So my lights are in. Makes it a little safer in here. So, I'm going to take out the floor. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in here. So, I think I'm going to leave it like this until I decide what I'm going to put in here. If I'm going to have, like, maybe a cactus farm going on the surface in here. That might, if I can make it look cool, or maybe some... Sugar cane? Um, we'll see. Maybe I could do both. I know what. I could actually have both cactus and just a little bit. Like, I could make it look like it's a greenhouse with all the shelves and the plants and then have maybe just like a couple things of cactus and a couple sugar cane. Just to sort of, or maybe not sugar cane, because then I have to hide water somewhere. Just to give it a cool look. And then underneath I'll have the functional farms. So I might fill this area in and repeat these down here, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to start with these two. And then maybe put something decorative in the center. So far I'm liking it. So till next time, bye.